right so first let Im let's import this image as a plane we will be creating the buildings first so let me look for this building this is how you create you know low poly realistic buildings so you import the image as a plane good so here's my building nice looking building now I'm going to fix the textures I'll be going into the UV editing tab and here I will fix the textures and take out the white parts around the building I just want the building alone so I'm going to take that out just increase the size of the UV map decrease the size sorry and try to fit it within the building make the building fit the entire plane so here I am trying to fix this alright so I think this is good this looks really good So let us apply some edge loops to this building. We will apply to the ledge. We will apply to the window sills. And we will apply to all the parts that need to be extruded from this building. And for those people who do not know how to import images as plane, go into edit, go into preferences and choose import image as plane and load it and now you have that option to import images as plane so I was just showing you how to do that ok let's continue okay. so we apply to all the faces that need to be extruded ok so just watch how I do it and just follow me it's a pretty simple process and this is the process I use to create the buildings within that scene and you don't really have to do too much on texturing because the buildings come with their own textures these are buildings you normally use to just enhance the scene because it wouldn't be fully detailed but from a distance it will look detailed because these are actual pictures of real buildings so when you use this in your scene it's going to enhance your artwork all I'm doing throughout this process is basically adding edge loops to areas I would like to extrude now I'm extruding the ledges I changed the blending mode to opaque because it's not a transparent material. So extrude all the window sills, the window frames. Because that's what we want to do. We want to make it look as close as realistic as possible. So we need to sell it. So in order to sell it, we also have to try and tweak the image. So it's not just one flat object. You know, we're trying to make it more 3D-like. So we are basically just extruding all the window frames. You know, give it that depth. We extrude the top ledge, the bottom. And just, you know, make it look close to realistic. I will create a plane and this will be used to create the roof you see at the top there. I will just apply back the same textures and edit the UV map a bit, try to make it small you know in place, almost the same size as the roof. I will now use a knife tool to make a triangle and I will delete the edges so it had this nice triangular look which is close to what the roof would look like so now I will just edit the UV map and place it on top of the roof 
so I can get that texture you see there. which is going to add more depth and realism. And I'll just increase the size a bit to give it a little more width. And that is what our roof looks like. Now I'll shift D to copy the body of the building and do it in four parts. So I'll get a square around the roof. So I, once I copy the body of the building, copy it into four parts, and make a square around the roof so this is going to give it that complete look make it look like a full building let's try to make it even and align it so it looks very presentable and you can sell the realism So now we will select all the parts of the building and we are going to press Ctrl J and this is going to make it into one complete object. So now it's not separate anymore. We combine all the objects together and it's now one complete object. What we can do now is scale it, scale it to an accurate size. So I'm just going to bring it down to the plane that we have here. Just bring it down. I'm also going to add my human character next to the building. What this does, it gives you an accurate representation of what a human being would look like next to a building. So this gives you the ability to scale your building properly. All right, so I think this looks good and the building is scaled correctly. Yes, this looks like what the building would be because my human is about six foot something. So yeah, this is, this is an accurate representation of what the building would look like. So now I have a task for you guys. You guys will be creating these other buildings. The link for these pictures will be in the description and you guys will be creating the same building like what I did and the others. It's the same process guys, it's just importing it as an image plane and extruding the parts that would normally be extruded like the window sills, the ledges, some concrete areas, etc. So that's a task for you and go right ahead and let me see what you have. Okay, so now I'll be selecting the faces of all the windows and these will be tweaked a bit because even though you may have created this building, 
you know there is some there's still some editing that may need to be done so to give it a little more realism so let's decrease the roughness increase the transmission a bit because you know most windows are transparent or translucent I should say but majority is transparent the roof we're going to give it a metallic look a nice metallic look so we just increase the metallicness of the roof assign the same material and we're going to decrease the roughness a bit you know just give it this nice sheen okay so we're going to blend the roof texture with a musgrave texture to just give it this like rustic kind of look let's separate the roof into two parts let's put the front face as a separate textures the front and back face as separate textures and the top faces as separate textures so now we'll have two separate edits for the roof yeah so let's make sure you name your stuff guys because it gets confusing when these textures get a lot so I'm just editing the roof to my liking you don't have to do it exactly like how I have done it but just do it the way it makes you happy because everybody has their own way or their own taste in how they design stuff so I'm just here to just show you my method so I'm just adding this musgrave texture at the top give it this rustic look make the roof look a bit rusty try to edit the color ramp so I'm basically mixing textures together so I can add some more realism to my building so it can blend well in my scene so I'm just tweaking it here and there just giving it small tweaks to enhance the look of the building okay so now I am going to focus on the body of the building and I'm going to add a bump map to it just to give it some depth because it's a bit too plain and a bump map would give it some depth so that is what I'll be adding to my building body make the bricks pop Now that I added the bump map you see how it looks it just gives it this more like a depth kind of feeling so the building looks much better like this okay so this is what the building looks like when it's completed and this is something that you can do so all your 3d artwork it's fast and it's simple and you can use it even in games because it's very low poly it's not even a lot i haven't used any subdivision surfaces i haven't used any bevels all i did was take a picture and edit it in the 3d software so now you guys will be editing all the other buildings and i will get back to you on the next scene so get cracking and follow me on the next part.